Asaduddin Awaisi. After a statement made by the Chief Justice of India, he made a remark regarding the Dhwaja of Justice. We'll go into it in just a second. But first, we'll take you to the remark that we're making breaking news with. AIMIM Chief Asaduddin Awaisi has written on Twitter, and I quote, The only Dhwaja or flag of justice is the Indian tricolour. It's strange to call the symbol of one faith as the symbol of all of humanity. Remember on Saturday, the Chief Justice of India, D.Y. Chandra Chud, had urged district lawyers to function in a manner that the Dhwaja of Justice, Dhwaja means flag, keeps flying for generations to come. He was referring to the Dhwaja atop the Dwarka and the Somnath temples. He was uh, visiting them during a two-day visit to Gujarat. It's then that he made this comment that I was inspired this morning by the Dhwaja, uh, very similar to the Dhwaja which I saw at Jagannath Puri. Uh, he made further comments, but it's referring to all of this that the Asaduddin Awaisi has made this set of comments. Let's go over to our colleague Pallavi to understand more. Uh, Pallavi, the, the key comment in Asaduddin Awaisi's longer tweet that the only dhwaja or flag of justice is the Indian tricolour, it's strange to call the symbol of one faith, the symbol of all of humanity. Is that a fair interpretation, Pallavi, of what uh, D.Y. Chandra Chud had said on Saturday? Can you bring us the full, uh, the full context of his quote too? So, Toya, it's not just Asaduddin Ovesi, large part of the opposition parties, but to talk now specifically about Ovesi, as those pictures of the Chief Justice of India uh, start coming out, the allegation they've always made is that every institution in our country has been, to use their words, saffronized, compromised, and how uh, you know the country actually should owe its tribute, our politicians and celebrities should owe their tribute to the national flag. But instead, because of the BJP's narrative, which is being pushed by them and peddled by them, uh, it, there has been a saffronization where even those institutions, even those people who are supposed to be linear, who are supposed to be standing upright and for the national flag, for the nationalism as a concept, even though they seem to have been uh, leaning towards the BJP's ideology. Uh, this has been the common refrain coming in from OVC as, as, as well as from much of the India Front Opposition Party. Okay. Can you just tell our audiences now, Pallavi, more about the initial political reaction around the Chief Justice, who is a, the serving Chief Justice of the country, making that public visit to the temple? Were there? You said there were other opposition reactions. Can you just tell us more about them? There have been critical comments which have come in from the Shiv Sena, Uddhav Rao Thakri faction, even from the Congress party as well. In fact, they have been very cynical about the working of the judiciary as well. You know, when pictures, for example, of the CGI starts coming out with, say, the Prime Minister, or, you know, uh, where, where the CGI or the judges are often accused of pandering to the wishes of the government and especially with these wishes uh, they, their allegation always has been Hindutva has been misused by the BJP at the centre at the government level and now they are functionaries who are supposed to be independent and they are the ones also who seem to be pandering to this kind of a feeling only because they want to please to use the words again of the opposition to uh, their political masters. Okay. Palvi, can I also ask you, this visit came 10 days before the inauguration of uh, the Ram Mandir in Ayodhya and this was a very public visit. Uh, you can see uh, the Chief Justice of India offering to be photographed in a manner. There are officials following him. Is, is this kind of visit for the Chief Justice rare? Because he does frequent temples, but this kind of public visit, is it rare relatively? I mean, you know, the, the, the counter-argument to this Toya is that, you know, he's also a person and he has every right to pursue his faith. And if he wants to go to a place of worship, that's his right to do so. If he wants to take a picture of himself, that's again his right to do so. Uh, his being seen in public uh, with photos of him at places of worship should not be construed as him uh, also having an opinion or a verdict he gives which would be coloured. So, but, but this is a narrative which, you know, you're always going to be in stark contrast to each other. Both the sides are going to use it to their own political advantage. Okay. And uh, Pallavi, can you also take our audiences lastly to the comments that we've seen come in? So you said the Congress, you said the Uddhav Thakre-led faction of the Shiv Sena uh, had hit out at this. That's obviously particularly interesting because the Shiv Sena Uddhav Thakre-led faction has always claimed uh, its legacy to Hindutva even after it split with the other part of the Shiv Sena. What did they have to say in particular? But, you know, whenever, you, whenever this question has been asked of the Uddhav Thakri Shiv Sena faction, they've always made this point that, you know, it, the BJP should not consider itself the only champions of the Hindutva narrative. Um, you know, I, I remember when we had asked Uddhav Thakri this question whether he's going to be visiting the Pran Pratishtha on 22nd, he had gone on to say that I went to Ayodhya much before the Prime Minister had gone, and we had also been very much a part of this movement even before the BJP had done. Uh, the, the Uddhav Thakri faction, because of their own political compulsions and dreams, 
reasons and the politics in Maharashtra too, I would never want to see that space to the BJP. They as much want to project themselves as the champions of Hinduism and Hinduism as the BJP would. Okay, thank you, Pallavi, for bringing us that context. Okay.